Hey guys, it's Bang from Up PC Gamer here. I'm going to be comparing the GTX 970 to the more pricier GTX 980. Now, there's definitely a big gap in price between the two cards. So, I'm going to put the two cards head to head and just find out just exactly how much more performance you gain from opting to choose the GTX 980 over the GTX 970. So, here are the cards I'm going to be comparing. To my right I have the Zotac GTX 980 Amp Edition. Now, this card uses a Trifan cooler. Also comes pre-overclocked. It's got a base clock of 1165 MHz on the core, 1753 MHz on the memory and has a boost clock of 1266 MHz. And to my left I have the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 970 G1 Gaming Edition. This card also uses a Trifan cooler and also comes pre-overclocked as well. It has a base clock of 1178 MHz on the core, 1753 MHz on the memory, and 1329 MHz as a boost clock. Now, as I was saying earlier, there is a significant difference in price between the two cards. The Gigabyte GeForce GTX 970 G1 Gaming um, from the date of making this video comes in at £311.99 Now that's not a cheap card by any means but it's certainly more obtainable by most of us gamers when compared to the Zotac GeForce GTX 980 Amp Edition which comes in at £429.95 So that's over £117 difference between the two cards and it'll be interesting to see if there's an actual justification in performance as you could spend that money on a lot of different things 16 gigabytes of RAM 256 gigabytes solid state drive you could even spend it on a quality power supply so it would be definitely interesting to see if the performance is justifiable so with the two cards I plan on running them both at stock settings so this is going to be a stock versus stock comparison so exactly how you'd get them once you get them outside of a box I also want to put it out there that um, GPU Boost um, does also have a variable boost clock depending on the program and depending on the the heat of the card as well so you can expect to see some variance between the, t the two cards with certain programs or certain benchmarks. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run a few benchmarks and compare the results and once those are finished I'm going to run a few games and do a few side-by-side -side comparisons.
So for the majority of benchmarks, I would say the GTX 980 is around 9 to 10 frames per second on average faster than the GTX 970. Especially in um, applications like Unigine Heaven and Unigine Valley when it shows a clear advantage even with having a slower clock speed than this particular GTX 970. So the results are pretty promising. I want to move on to some games now and see if that increasing performance translates into real world games and not just benchmarks. So first up is Crisis 3. The settings I used was 1920 by 1080 on a resolution, FXAA, very high texture resolution, very high system specification, 16 times anastropic filtering, motion blur was set to medium and lens flares was enabled. So the GTX 980 beating out the GTX 970 by around about 9 frames per second, which is what I was expecting, so I'm not too disappointed here. So moving on to Far Cry 4, I used a resolution of 1920 by 1080. V-Sync was off. All graphical settings were ultra. HBO Plus on the ambient occlusion. I used Enhanced God Rays, SMAA, and I also made sure that the field of view was at maximum. So the GTX 980 beating out the GTX 970 by around about 8 to 9 frames per second on average. Which is uh, not so much but at the same time um, both these cars seem to run this game very very well so um, you'll definitely get a great experience regardless of which card you pick for playing Far Cry 4. Next up is Watch Dogs. I used a resolution of 1920 by 1080 Ultra Textures FXAA All graphical levels are ultra and high HBO Plus is also at high I disabled depth of field because it does make things look blurry and for me it doesn't actually make the game look better 
So once again the GTX 980 beating out the GTX 970 around about 10 frames per second. So you're starting to see a trend here against the games I've tested. You can expect the GTX 980 to be around at least 10 frames per second faster than the GTX 970. Okay, I'm going to come to my final test now, which is Tomb Raider. I used a resolution of 1920 by 1080 once again, and I also opted to use the ultimate preset. Now that includes FXAA, Tress FX, and Tessellation. So the GTX 980 beating out the GTX 970 by around about 16 frames per second in Tomb Raider. Now this makes an exception for the previous tests I've run, which showed an increase of 10 frames per second on average. So in general, you get around 10 to 12 frames per second increase in performance over the GTX 970 if you choose to go for the GTX 980. So my thoughts on the two cards. Oh, the Gigabyte GTX 970 G1 Gaming certainly remains a lot cooler than my Zotex GTX 980 Amp Edition. But on average, the GTX 980 does show a performance increase of around 10 to 12 frames per second. And bear in mind that this GTX 970 does have a higher frame, um, higher core clock than my GTX 980. So if the core clocks were the same, the increase could be even higher. So I wouldn't say paying over £120 is worth a 12 frames per second increase, but uh, with more demanding games in the future, that could be the difference between running at 50 frames per second and 60 frames per second. So some people will pay it. Um, I was one of them, and um, I've got no regrets. So the GTX 980 does perform reasonably better than the GTX 970, and you're definitely going to have to pay for it if you want that extra performance. Anyway, that's it from me guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.